We are the. Uh, 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 Hi. Hello. <laughs> and welcome to the circus. Woo. Um, this is the inaugural edition of the Roth and Yacht Book Club. Yes, that is how you say the name of the press, believe it or not. Um, I was thinking about this last night. I was actually laying in bed laughing because it reminded me of, I was like, yeah, I'm going to have to say the name of the press on camera. Uh, which I don't say it very often. I usually refer to it as RF. Uh, my French is not perfect. Um, but I was thinking about it and it reminded me of the fact that, have you ever been to like a, one of those high-end coffee shops where they'll have like a specialty drink and it'll be called like the Hazelnut Caramel Minty Cocoa Chanel? <laughs> and they, really, they expect you to say this dumb shit to them when you're ordering. And I refuse. I just go, can I have one of those? The one that can I have like the number seven? That one <laughs> up there. They don't have numbers you. there. Oh, they don't have one. numbers in the fancy places You're on right. purpose. They, because they make you say the stupid <laughs> name. Exactly. The name of the stupid drink. Yeah, it's it's an on purpose. Or, or what's worse is like a craft cocktail bar. Oh. Have you guys ever experienced that where it's like the low hanging rooster? And you're like, I don't want to order that. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. It's, it's, a, it's a rooster's balls. <laughs> That's what it sounds like. I don't want that. Okay, All right, what's this rooster? press? We have, what, who are we? What are we here for? So this is a book club, believe it or not. <laughs> the Virgo just came out of me. Organize, everybody. <laughs> God, Virgo. The Aquarius drowns. Um, all right. So I'm not sure what my cappy role is. In we're going to do to make the snide remark. That's right. That's your cappy <laughs> and, and to ground to us. Snide. To ground us. All right. So we're going to do a little okay. bit of a round table for those of you who are not familiar with us. If you're stumbling upon us uh, for the first time on YouTube or our website or on social media or in space where I reside, um, you will be able to know who we are. So uh, we're going to start with Kelly. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm Kelly Scott Reed, assistant editor in chief at Raw Onions, is what I say because I can never remember Raw Cheers. Onions. And we have worked, what, we worked together for many, many years. And when Long you time. tell the history of our She press, hired me, actually. Yes! Hired me about sketchy decisions. <laughs> you know I'm, I'm awesome. awesome. Because Any regrets? I, no. no. <laughs> You're my kind of people. No, and it's been so great to be, be part of this, you know, having my dreams die at a very young age of being a writer or an actress. I, uh, this has been like a godsend to me to have this like wonderful That's outlet. That's so sweet. Yeah, thank you. All right, Marianne, who the hell are you? Okay, Marianne Moretzky-Peterson. <laughs> um, as you said, we all work together. Kelly hired us. And you're amazing. <laughs> you're brilliant. That's not my job to say. It's my <laughs> job to say. She's brilliant. She's an amazing editor. She's one of the best that we have. Oh, yeah. I and she I is. remember, because Marianne's not going to talk about herself, so I'm just no. going to do it for her. I remember approaching her with this idea, and I believe what I said to you was, would you like to read and edit some stuff for a press that Kelly and I are going to do? And your response, and I remember this well, was, Good, because I don't. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds like me. Can you say it in a way like you really were not sure? sure. <laughs> and but you did those things, and you did those things very well, and you continue to do them. And now I've turned you into a YouTuber, and I'm very oh, sure. yeah. <laughs> My son should be proud, but I don't know. He might be straight. Right. <laughs> All right, and rounding out this circus act is me. Hello, I'm Tiffany. Um. You probably know me if you've interacted with us on our socials because that's all me. Um, I'm the editor in chief of this year's circus, resident ringleader, lion tamer, monkey chaser, <laughs> giraffe putter. I don't know. I have a lot of roles. Um, but I decided to start this back in April of 2021, is when this idea really came to me. It's been kicking around in my mind since I was about six in one form or another. I know that's hard to believe. Um, I don't ever let it die. Um, so I decided to do this for a few different reasons, um, probably more than I'm going to list here right now. But one of the things that I want to do the most is to amplify the voices of other writers, particularly in small indie presses, particularly people who are not getting the mainstream attention that they probably deserve. Um, I think publishing is a bullshit racket. I'm just going to level with you. I think it's a bunch of crap. I think it's exclusionary. I think it's gross a little 
And I'm not particularly impressed by gross exclusionary things. <laughs> it's just not who I am. So that's part of what we're doing here. Which leads me to book club, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so Yay, today. book club! <laughs> <laughs> so <Good> what, book <laughs> club. <laughs> what we have done here um, is we are going to pick a book from an indie press or an indie author, if it's self-published, whatever the case may be. We are going to um, do about one a month, I would say, probably. Maybe more if time allows or less if the world collapses, which we're well on our way. So we might be singing it out, y'all. Um, regardless, we're gonna, going to pick and highlight an indie author. We're going to read the book. We're going to make some notes on the book. We're going to discuss what spoke to us. We're going to talk it up. Uh, we are accepting... Um, submissions for any recommendations that you have. So if you've written a book, if you know someone who has, if you've just read one that you absolutely love, that we need to love and highlight, please go to our website. I'm gonna figure out how to put the website in here. I'm not gonna spell out a web address to you that feels antiquated. Um, no, no W's. No W's. <laughs> no W W. W, w. w free. <laughs> um, and I will, I will put any necessary links on the screen so that you can actually see them as well as in the bio and all of that type of stuff. But if there is anything that you can think of after you watch this and you think, hey, I want those crazy girls to talk about me, uh, <laughs> please don't hesitate to submit it. Um, we will do our best to chalk you up and give you whatever access to whatever exposure we have, which is... I do have my limits, but... <laughs> How much exposure. <laughs> so the book that we chose this time um, was not an indie author. Reason being, we needed a book that I had in my house so we could all read it and get this done. Um, and our other job. Yeah, right. <laughs> the 60 other things we have to do. Uh, we're not doing that going forward. This is a traditional publication. Do not be disappointed. We wanted to do this this way so we could lay the groundwork for you and give you an idea of where we're going with this and what the point is. Um, this is, nobody will tell you this but me, and it's by Bess Cobb. Um, this was a big deal in lockdown. I remember that. Um, because I follow Bess on Twitter. Um, I'm sure she doesn't care. Um, but <laughs> here we are. Um, and this was just something that I happened to have. I was like, guys, we need a book so we can get this nailed down so we can know kind of how this is going to go in the future. So this is the book. So we're going to get started talking about the book. Um, who would like to start? Who wants to start off with their thoughts? I love a memoir. Okay. But I you actually... love a memoir? I love a memoir. memoir. Um, but here's what I also liked about it. I really liked the switching back and forth between mm -hmm. the voices. So, and I will... I'm just the Vanna White. That's right. Can you, can, you do <laughs> a, can you do a Rushmore where he holds the book and he goes... <laughs> like with a very serious face. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes. So, this story is told from the, well, it's told, it's not a story, it's true. Yes. It's, it's an actual, story. Everyone it's likes a, a story. Yeah, but it's, yes. no, it's not fictionalized, so let's just no, say it's, it's, it's not fiction. It's a memoir. It's, it's a memoir. We've already Everybody started. loves a memoir. Everyone loves a memoir. Dude, somebody has to help me. I am like. The Paul Rudd of books. Everyone loves a memoir. I, <laughs> it's the Paul Rudd of books. You're right. Everybody, everybody loves a memoir. Will yes. a fake microphone help you? Yes, it will. Hi. It'll put me on the spot more. <clears throat> okay. Um, yeah, nobody will tell you this but me. So I actually have a similar experience. I have to relate this to myself. Because <laughs> so do I. It's all right. I don't know. It's a self <laughs> Kelly. It's a Kelly, Kelly thing. thing. <laughs> um, so, what's I going I'm sorry. This, not, this might be making, making her nervous. Uh, it is. Okay, I'm, I'm going to put this away. Student. It's not plugged in. No plug goes into this, or this doesn't go into any plug. The plugs don't fit. It's all fucked up. All right, go ahead. So it's just like a, it's a, I feel like a kid at a, you're doing a book report? terrible. <laughs> There's a boy, <laughs> and he's 10. He goes camping. Tommy goes camping. That's what it's about. That's what it feels like. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm sorry. <laughs> I do too. I don't so, know what I'm doing. I just, when I get anxious, it's just bad. Grandmother's bad. story as passed down through life events yes. of the, the, the author. That's how I feel. And it's, yes. it's Holocaust, it's the, it's the, uh, it's heavy hitting. Yeah. Some heavy hitting. Heavy hitting stuff. stuff. Um, but for, for me, what I did like about it was 
the back and forth, the past tense and the current tense, how it was all mixed. It wasn't just Tracked telling a story. Interesting. Yeah, it wasn't just telling a linear story, which as you can see, I, I have trouble do. with. I have trouble <laughs> marching in a straight direction. I no. mean, anyone who's heard me tell a story knows there's no straight line. There's <laughs> yeah, there's a tangent. We, we got what bunny, were we talking there's about? There's bunny trails, yeah. for sure. So I thought that was great. Yes. Well, the relationship of the grandparents. Okay. The the wedding Okay. of that, uh, the wedding really spoke to me. I thought I, that was beautiful. I cried. Yeah. So. I thought that I was beautiful. It doesn't really take much. But, but, I, but. And, and again, it just how... The mar- how it related to me was how the marriages in my family, a lot of them have been arra- arranged mm-hmm. uh, on the Italian side. So when I, I that. yeah, so weirdly, coming together as a people naturally really always makes me happy. So when I read a story like that where there's this kind of beautiful tenderness to it, mm-hmm. um, it, it really speaks to me because I, I just, that's how I relate is through the through relationships. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I love that part. So see? There. Now your turn. Okay. Oh, do you want Mary Ann's turn? Well, I, I <laughs> was like, she just flipped. Yeah, I got like, this handing her a grenade. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. I can't keep it together today. All right. I need my glass. But, but what you were saying about um, the past tense and the present tense, I liked, I liked how she used, she saved voicemails. Emails, mm-hmm. like those kind of little notes mm-hmm. that are kind of nice to hang on to. How important this the sentimentality was to her. Yeah. I think it echoed, I mean, obviously this relationship was important to her, but I think that level of attention to detail drove it home. And it wasn't just stories that her grandmother told her. Right. It was these real life comments that definitely brought the grandmother's personality through. Yes. Right. Like, Millennial's know. gonna go now. Yes. <laughs> we got it. After got the Gen Xer said absolutely nothing. Millennials got <laughs> good laugh. Um, all right. So, my favorite thing about this book, and I've probably said this to both of you before, uh, but I haven't said it to you. <laughs> um, okay. You want me to wait till you're in frame? No. Okay. No. Um, my main takeaway from this book is, again, similar to Kelly, how I relate it to my own life. Um, I always think it's interesting to hear stories about women in the past uh, where they have actually taken control of their own life and their own future. Um, that is something that I have often been told was not done. Oh, it just wasn't done that way back in those days. Like, women just did this. They did that. They, they fulfilled the role. Um, a societal norm and it's like fuck no they didn't like women all over were taking control of their lives and were jumping in where you know maybe they didn't belong per society but they were they were doing it themselves mm-hmm. and making decisions for themselves and going across the world sometimes by themselves like there are women that were doing that and I think it's a little bit of a bullshit take to pretend that that doesn't happen or so didn't. or didn't happen exactly it's, it's just another way for people to try to keep women in line so well, I appreciate hearing the stories about um, about women not staying in line because I I don't stay in well line. the nor uh, it's the nor- color in the line <laughs> speak in the line I don't know can I, I speak in a straight line I was gonna say nor n- Zora Neale Hurston mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. her birthday's today Oh, really? Oh. And she's one of those very people that you're talking about. Um, a person who, she attended Howard, then went on to school. I mean, just like incredible stuff back in the 1920s. Right. Yeah. Um, it was re- and it's really, well, 20s or 30s. I can't, don't quote me on the year. I'm terrible with years. But like, seriously, it's like, that's that same thing about women just taking charge of their lives, writing, getting educated. It's yeah, interesting. It is. It's really interesting. I keep having sisters doing it. Well, I do too, but I wish you didn't say that. I was sitting there going, no, don't say sisters. Don't Dude. jump in. I was holding my freaking tongue. Because There's you said sister. song for every day. You are doing, you're doing, and, and I go, I said, oh, I was going to say it, and then I said, no, shut it, and then you just said it. I can't help it, sorry. <laughs> I'm just going to drink my tea. It's a song for everything. <laughs> and right. I'm not even the one who usually is singing the songs. It's you too. That's right. <laughs> Damn right. 
All right, so we're gonna close this out um, because Kelly's iPad's running out of space. Real talk. Now Kelly tech savvy. So um, what we did want to do? Oh, sorry. I think I. I was let's see. Sorry. Um, what we did want to do before we close is announce the next book that we're going to do. Um, now we had to make a couple of arrangements with this because I don't know if it's a supply chain thing or just a scheduling thing, but the initial pick uh, is not currently in production. And not production, isn't currently being produced. Well, it's not available. Let's it's put it it's unavailable. Way. I'm reading into this. It's unavailable. Um, so we had to put that one off. We made a couple of uh, little uh, changes to our schedule with it. We're still going to do it, but we have to... Again, the world's burning, guys. Okay, can you just bear with me? Um, so w our next book is going to be Postcards from Ragnarok by Katie Naylor, who is a good friend of the press. Um, we are very excited to dig into her work, and also we are going to be putting up um, links to her socials, and she's doing a lit mag now too, which you should check out because it's interactive and super unique and really cool. Uh, she's also a powerhouse. Uh, last I knew, she was submitting stuff <laughs> while having COVID. While, like, <laughs> like, she never stops. So we're going to stop, and then we're going to talk, and then we're going to, you know. She's definitely one of those sisters. Who's doing Do it, it for themselves? Oh, my God. I can't I not <laughs> always do it on myself? I feel like we're about to. <laughs> not on myself. <laughs> we're going to get sued, y'all. No. No one's watching this. <laughs> They're supposed to watch it, Kelly. Oh my god. There's, there's some fair use problems with that song. Oh. And I don't even know who does the song.